Hey guys, this is Anil. In this video, we will learn how we can filter a gallery in Power Apps. So here you can see this is my department kind of drop down. So suppose if I select all, then I can see all the user from all the department. But whenever I'll select IT, and you can see I can see the IT department people only. If I select HR, I can see the HR people only. Now, if I select the department is blank, then you can see I have one user from blank department that he don't have any kind of department. Right? So the same thing, how we will achieve this. So here I have a SharePoint uh, list. In that I have a few columns. For profile picture, I have taken a text app column profile pic. I'll show you the schema. So here you can see the schema. And if you don't know how we can bind profile picture in gallery, image gallery, you can see my previous video. I'll put the link in my description. So from here, we will create a canvas app from blank. filter now here I will insert image gallery right and this image gallery I will connect the SharePoint list. Employee info. Right. So here I will bind this. This item dot profile pick and this is the department and here is the name of the user right so this is how we have our gallery now Here I will take one drop down so in this drop down we have to bind all distinct department employee info we have a text type column the name is department all right so if I run this you can see we have all department so this is the blank actually we have uh, one user that don't have any uh, department here, here you can see the department is blank for this user and for other user we have a department right and this is text type field single line of text so right now we have to filter so how, how, how we will filter in the employee info what I will do I will apply filter and I will filter this list by which we have to filter with this drop down selected value. Dot selected dot result, right? Now, if I run this. What happened? Why we are not getting the data? Oh, so actually, here should be department equals to department equals to right now. Let's run this. Okay, so we are getting the expected result.
Now, what we need to do? We need to append all inside this drop down, right? So, suppose if uh, we will edit it and we will set it sales and exit this and here I'll update this data source right now I can see all department nothing is blank right now the next target we have to uh, set all in the drop down. So, for that, what I will do first, I will do clear collect, not here actually, I'll do on on visible property of my screen so on clear collect I'll use a variable right so suppose if I'll add a any other screen and I'll go just here and I'll go over here. Now I can see the value in my collection, right? All. Okay. Now, one more thing we have to do. Collect. Now, we need to do T and right so what will happen over here now so if you will see in the collection right now oh d e p t so now in the collection you can see we have result so here we are getting a result and value equals to all so for that what we need to do we need to just do result over here now let's see the data so here we can see the data in single column right so now this is the department and this department I will comment it and put it over here right now let's run this application and see the result okay now one more thing we have to do suppose if we are selecting all then we are getting the blank data so for that what we have to do here I will apply a if condition if if drop down one dot selected dot result equals to all then employee info else this data right now let's run this application and if I select all I can see all record complete data right if I select sales then I can see the sales result if I select the IT I can see the IT right so I hope you like this video and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and in, in my next video I will let you know how we can filter two drop down together
right so that's it for today thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye